Honorable Ministers, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we have just concluded within the framework of the 107th session of the ACP Ministerial Council two days of extensive discussions and reflection on a range of matters that will have far-reaching implications for the ACP as a whole and more particularly for the people whom we represent. I'm truly grateful for your constructive engagement on the items on our agenda and for the genuine spirit of partnership and solidarity with which you have applied yourselves to the issues put before us. Honorable Ministers, even as we acknowledge the importance of all the items that we examined at this meeting, I'm sure you will all agree that one has stood head and shoulders above the others. And in this regard, I refer to the historic adoption of the negotiating mandate for a post Cotonou partnership agreement with the European Union. We're all aware that the path to this singular achievement was not an easy one, and we must therefore remain actively engaged with all stakeholders in relation to this matter and prepare now for the launch of negotiations. I must once again pay tribute to the hard work, solidarity, and determination of all delegations in contributing to the attainment of this milestone. Regarding the general proceedings, we began with the very insightful and thought-provoking remarks by Ambassador Patrick Gomes, ACP Secretary General, and by our dear colleague and host, Professor the Honorable Robert Doucet, Ministry of, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Cooperation, and African Integration of the Togolese Republic. We remain indebted to them for setting the tone for the rest of our deliberations and exhorting us to take clear decisions that will ensure the sustainable development of the ACP group. We were also privileged to have benefited from a high-level panel facilitated by two very distinguished members of the ACP family, namely Dr. Kituye, Secretary General of the UNCTAD, and Mrs. Radebe, Executive Chairperson of Macau Mining in South Africa. Both panelists emphasized the need for the ACP to adopt policies of renewal and transformation that would empower us to more effectively attain economic growth and development. I was very much heartened by your active participation in the discussions and for the suggestions and recommendations that were made in relation to the prospects for enhanced development through more focused intra-ACP cooperation. I wish to once again thank the Chair of the ACP Committee of Ambassadors for her comprehensive report as well as the Secretary, Secretary General for his report on the management of the affairs of the ACP Secretariat. Both presentations highlighted substantive elements, such as the review of the Georgetown Agreement and measures to reform the ACP Secretariat and enhance the visibility of this ACP group, which will require our ongoing support and guidance. I also wish to thank the chairs of the ACP Ministerial Consultations on Commodities and Development Finance Cooperation for their leadership and the outcome of their deliberations, many of which have been captured in the decisions and resolutions that we have adopted today. We also deliberated on the respective agendas for our upcoming joint deliberations with the EU on Thursday and Friday of this week. Even as I will seek to faithfully convey your decisions and observations in my assigned role as co-president, I look forward to your active participation in the discussions and decisions that will emanate from those encounters. Honorable ministers, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to simply conclude by reiterating deepest appreciation once more to the government and people of Togo for providing such excellent facilities for the hosting of our 107th session, which contributed in no small measure to the success of our deliberations. I also wish to thank all delegations for their solidarity and support, as well as the staff of the ACP Secretariat, among them the conference services and interpretation teams, and my own delegation for their invaluable support. I wish you all a good afternoon and continued success for the remainder of the meetings ahead of us. In the next two seconds, I will be presenting to the chairman of the CNG, the French and English copy of the negotiating mandate hereby approved by the 107th Council of Ministers of the ACP. Join me in 
acknowledging the importance of this moment. In respect of item 15, having completed item 14 of the agenda and recommitting the agenda uh, with your agreement, the 108th session of the ACP Council of Ministers will next be in Brussels in accordance with the usual principles of rotation. And uh, the date will be confirmed in due course. We will set the date, taking into consideration the fact that the Joint Parliamentary Assembly will also be scheduled and the fact of COP24 taking place in Katowice, Poland in the month of December as well. As this 107th Council of Ministers of the African, Caribbean and Pacific States is now closing after Secretary General makes his closing remarks. Thank you, Madam President. It would be remiss on my part and on behalf of the Secretariat and the entire gathering not to pay a special tribute to you in the admirable manner, the way in which you conducted this council, and that in no small way played a most significant part in making it so successful. I wish to ask that the Assembly joins in expressing our appreciation by her applause. And, and this, colleagues, I think now finally, finally this time, brings our deliberations to a close, brings our present session to a close. I thank you once more for your valuable participation, your engagement, your attention, and officially now close the 107th session of Council.